Hello, it is Friday morning, Friday, May 8th. I have been doing more printer stuff. So the print head that's in the printer, it sat overnight, but the cyan is still not working. It just does one little teskinny strip. So I'm putting in my other print head. Both have an issue with cyan, both of them do, but this one I just flushed out every color because this has been sitting for a long time. And then I went really hard on the cyan because it uh, it was coming out blue and then it started coming out clear so I thought I was done with it but I persisted a bit further and then it was like an explosion of blue coming out of it so it's hopefully clean now I put so much hot water through this thing it's actually good to use Windex because the ammonia helps but I didn't I don't have it so I just use hot water but yeah that's all cleaned out so I might put this baby in instead of the print head that's in there right now I don't even know which one is the one that came with that printer like this might be the one that originally was in here I can't I can't keep track because I switch whenever one starts acting up I put the other one in there the sign might be extra clogged there's like pooling ink there I wonder if it's because it's so clogged it can't go through. I'll rinse this one out too, just so I'm storing it clean. <laughs> Is it checking all of them? <laughs> While that's doing its thing, I'm gonna go rinse out that other print head. I was supposed to have a meeting at 11. It's now 11.20. <laughs> person never called but I realized I had a missed call from them from yesterday so I think they thought the call was yesterday but it's actually today so whatever I'll just keep my phone volume on I shot them an email we'll see if they end up calling <laughs> boom look at that look at that this was the one from earlier today with the other print head <laughs> one little skinny strip which was progress but not enough I'm gonna hop on Animal Crossing real quick and clear out my inventory and fill it with turnips because one of my friends is projected to have a big spike today, like in the afternoon for his afternoon price. So I want to be prepared. Okay, the meeting call happened. I sold my turnips. The spike was not as high as it could potentially have been because it was there was like a range or it was estimated it could be up to 618, but it ended up being 341. Still, so went and sold my turnips at my friend's place. Yeah, so. That's all done, and I'm gonna go shower. And I'm all showered. Next step is to check store emails and package up any orders I have to send out. One of these orders is pretty big. It's actually two orders, but I'm just gonna send them together. That's a lot of prints. I've been sending out more replacements than usual, although I have to keep in mind that I had 50% more orders than usual, so I have to replace 50% more like more are gonna go missing but I think it's also COVID stuff like some people's actually a lot of people's are just delayed like a lot of people I've sent them a replacement package and then their original one did come but like what are you supposed to do I'm not gonna make make people wait extra extra long just to see if it arrives and then if it doesn't then they're waiting even longer like what can you do it's just a byproduct of the whole COVID mess this one's so thick it's gonna need a box Speaking of which, ordering boxes and stuff is on my list for the day. <laughs> and I gotta order more stamps and all that good stuff. Just lots of stuff. So cat print prints, little box. So I have these two. I'm gonna bring them to the post office. I'm just going through my prints, seeing how many of each I want to order. Some of these, this will be the last chance you can get them, at least for a while. I don't like having this many available at any time when I'm also selling enamel pins. It was fine for the print only run, but it's gonna be a long list again for this next time. <laughs> but yeah, some of them um, I'm gonna be stopping after this, like most of these. These ones at the bottom, I'm not reordering, but I just still have a decent amount of them left, so I'm just selling whatever is left over. And some of the other ones might make it on the list, like the Fish Boy one, there's like, there's a few here. I can sell whatever's left over. This one, there's literally one. I don't know why it's so much lower than the rest. Because I could keep a certain amount of extras just for orders that go missing. But this one got dangerously low. This one's pretty low too. I've got like four. This one's also four. The percentage I keep is always the same. 
so the more I have available the more extras I keep but yeah just been sending out a lot of extra packages this time a lot of replacements so the supplies are dwindling still got lots of noise and tons of breeze <laughs> thought that one would be really popular. That's just me, just me. Well, not just me, but <laughs> I overestimated its popularity. I will have to prep the files for Universe Sunflower and Lack because those are not five by seven print files yet. So I'll prep those and place the order. I almost forgot about the meeting. We got to make that one a print too. I also didn't fill out Vera. The meeting, let's do 300. 300. Sunflower is a little tricky because it has a border, so I can't just scale it up and cut off the sides. It'll look stupid. So I'm going to print it with extra white at the top and bottom. And then these also get printed with a white border around the entire thing, so there'll be even more white on the top and bottom. But I suppose people can cut it and they can trim it if they want to, but I'm going to keep it 5x7 so that it's uh, consistent with all the other ones. But yeah, I don't really know. I don't know. There's not really a good solution for this. Draw out the flowers digitally. Try to make it match. No. No. It's just gonna have to be like this. Okay, I had to reduce the print qu quantities to get the total dollar value down because I need it under 2500 Canadian to avoid border problems. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, anything that was quantity 100 has stayed 100. Anything that was quantity 200 was reduced to 150, and anything that was 300 was reduced to 250. So the order's placed, and before I place my Uline order, I'm gonna get some lunch, like a late lunch, because I'm hungry! I'm gonna eat my leftover steak and veggies. I also want this corn. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Can't forget to grab my free table. Now I can have a jazz concert. Woo! -hoo. Okay, so that orders for the folding table, crinkled paper, glassine bags, and two sizes of boxes. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I've been sitting here for so long trying to double check. Okay, orders have been placed. We have stamps. $700 worth of stamps. Those are mainly for Canadian orders. And then there's the cat print order. Boop. Then we have label paper for my thermal label maker and then the Uline order. So I got my receipts all printed and they can go in my filing cabinet. There's some stuff I'm looking at that I did not order because I think I might get it from Ikea. One thing I've been wanting is a tall skinny shelf to go here instead of this shelf. And this can go in the next room and hold towels and stuff because our towels are so squish. So that kind of works out. And I think I'll get a couple more of these cheap desks from Ikea and have them downstairs in the warehouse. When I move the warehouse down there, I want to leave that turquoise colored dresser desk thing up here. Because none it's not warehouse related stuff in there. That's stuff I access for use in here. So I, I want it close by. The filing cabinet, by the way, will also stay up here for easy access. And because I'm I'm nervous for those documents to be downstairs where it might flood again. Mostly for ease of access though. But yeah, I want a table to replace that. So this thing right here. I like to put boxes on there, my scale, just various things I might need while packing. I usually have them there. So I want something to replace that. I was looking at maybe getting another folding table. I can't find this exact one on Amazon. And other ones are over like a hundred bucks. I was checking them on Uline too. And ultimately I was like, why not use the Ikea ones? Because it's $30 total for the whole thing. 10 for the top and then five for each leg. The only thing is it's a little wider than this. Well, I guess so is the table. They're all wide. Hmm. More space. <laughs> and then the, the second one would be just the surface to do things on. Like I might want to go down there to grade pins, especially if it's hot in the summer. And especially once Christian has his stuff moved back downstairs, that's where we're going to be hanging out in the evenings instead of up here. So I could just like have a table down there where I grade pins. I could even slide it out of the room in front of the TV and work on it that way. Like who knows? It's just like a work table for down there. We're all kinds of prepping of products and all that. What's going on here? Why are you slinking so slowly towards my robe, which I should go put away? I was using it as a bib 
few days ago because I didn't want to get spaghetti on my shirt. I was wearing that light shirt that goes with these pants. And I did not want to get sauce on it. I was also looking into some shelving, like kind of like this style in the closet, like those black shelves, except maybe metal ones. We have some big ones downstairs in our storage room and they're very handy and they're, they're foldable so they fold down flat and I cannot find those same ones on Amazon. I found some other folding ones, they're smaller. And I was checking out what's on Uline, but everything's so expensive on Uline, stuff like that. Anyway, and they didn't have any folding ones. So I just, I'm holding off for now because I don't even know if I for sure need it. I just think it'd be handy, especially with boxes and stuff. Just have some shelves because I run out of space for things. Even like I have things stacked here and here and I don't even have all my stuff yet. I just ordered a bunch of crap today. So, you know, can always have more shelves. What I might get though is those black plastic ones I have in the closet. I got that at Canadian Tire and they're really affordable but they have larger ones and so I might get those and they easily pop apart. I actually have a second one here, one of the small ones. This little guy here. So these, t these little, whoa. <laughs> these pipes, these, what, where am I looking for? I don't know, these supports, they come out and the whole thing collapses. These flat shelves stack into each other. It's, it's really great. It can be disassembled nice and flat, which I like. So I might get that at Canadian Tire, get one or two of those big ones. And at Canadian Tire, I wanna get a big shelf to go behind this plastic table in front of me because I'll have it against a wall with a shelf above it so the shelf will overhang over the table and that's where I'll keep full, some folded boxes and I can just reach up there and grab them and do the orders and then as my supply dwindles, I can grab more and put them up there, yada yada, just so everything's easily accessible. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the stuff I can't get quite yet but hopefully soon. Is Canadian Tire even open? Do they do curb? No, I don't even want to do curbside pickup. I want to actually go in. So yeah, I'm just kind of holding off a bit more till all the restrictions lift a little bit. Then I can do Canadian Tire and Ikea. So a couple things were just delivered, which were Christian's birthday presents. There's also one that came on Saturday. So it's been almost a week since he's had it, which is a drinking horn. Here's his drinking horn. Ooh, la, la. We're on manual focus. There we go. That's a better view now. Fancy, fancy. His other item is an ottoman, which just arrived. So you can put his feet up. This is upside down right now. The top cushion is right here. Mm -hmm. You can even store stuff in it. And I got him a shirt, which has the plaid up here and in here really cute buttons and if you roll up the cuffs you get to see that plaid too he really likes his shirt and he's pretty excited about the ottoman and i know he, he was excited about the horn too when he got it i don't know why i just thought of like all the great ideas this time i just thought of them a little too late but yeah and his carnivore club snack box is on its way so that'll be the last item but he knows that he's getting that one so yeah I now have some forms to sign for my accountant because my tax stuff is all done so I have to sign various documents and send them back to them so I'm gonna do that it's already six o'clock so we'll see I'm gonna package Janine's thank you package today I might save it for tomorrow really it doesn't matter as long as it gets done over the weekend because even if I tried well I can't bring it to the post office right now they're closed well if I go to a different location they'd be open but it wouldn't get sent out it wouldn't get sent out today's my point <laughs> so you know, as long as I get it to the post office by Monday. <sighs> I just whooped and hollered, jumped out of my chair, ran to Christian. <laughs> I'm getting a tax return for the first time in years. Usually I just end up owing a lot of money, like I'll prepay my taxes, but then it'll end up not being enough. And this time I, I paid too much in advance. So I'm getting a hefty return. <laughs> and this is all just like, pre-incorporation stuff if anyone's wondering this is just like everything from before I officially incorporated because I have to file the taxes for that at the year end for my business so it's a bit different okay it's now 640 everything is dealt with I'm just printing off a physical copy of our tax returns which will take a while because they're 33 pages each so yeah uh, 
Oh, and I responded to a couple emails too. I was like, why did that take me so long? I responded to some other business emails too. Okay, I grabbed my Switch, grabbed a fresh Amiibo card, because you get DIYs from them, so I like to scan one every day. And yeah, grabbed all my crap, went out to the couch, and then I was like, you know, I kind of want to stream this Animal Crossing thing. I just didn't know if it's too late, because it's approaching 7 p.m. And so this is West Coast, so like East Coast North America, it's already 10 or later, depending which province you're in. Not to mention, like, the rest of the world. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I'm just in the mood, and, like, I really want some wine, so this will be my socializing for the weekend. Those darn sheets are still printing. Are we even on mine yet? No, it's still, it's still on Christian's, and I printed his out first. It is printing pretty slow, though. If I had changed the settings, it would print faster, but, oh, well, we'll have nice quality copies. So yeah, I posted a poll on Twitter to see if I could stream, and when I last checked it, 84% of people said stream now versus tomorrow. So, setting up. So the stream went well. It's up on my Twitch channel if you want to watch it back. It was pretty fun. Streamed till about 12.30 in the morning, and then the tiredness just hit me and I had to stop. And here you see me working on some buttons the next day for Janine's package. I got her package entirely done that day buttons made, everything all packaged up and good to go. There are prints she picked out, enamel pins, stuff like that. I put in my new washi tapes, my new sticker sheets, the original artwork I created using her supplies. There was the main one and two smaller ones. I don't know if I listed everything. There's lots of stuff in there. Lots of little goodies and packaged it all up for her. And that was kind of the main thing I did that day. That took me probably like two and a half hours, three hours. And I just did some house cleaning. So that's all I did for Saturday, and thank you guys so much for watching this vlog, and I will see you in the next one. I feel like I'm back in the productivity mindset a little bit. Like, I had two good days in a row yesterday and the day before were both great productivity-wise, and it just makes me feel good. Although I'm trying to, you know, not kick myself if I do have less productive days because, I don't know, it's unhealthy to try to be overly productive.